Okay, so I think we're recording now. Um, and welcome to the community call uh, on what's the day today? On the twenty fourth of September, um, twenty twenty four. Uh, tomorrow is my youngest son's birthday. He's seventeen years old, so I feel like a dinosaur uh, at the moment. Uh, well, in other we'll news, get, we'll, go, <laughs> we'll, we'll go and get one for you then. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Here we are, um, and uh, we're all not new here, so we all know each other, no need to introduce ourselves. Uh, there are no announcements uh, scheduled. Um, as with every uh, call, uh, myself and Andrea, as two core developers for the open source uh, thing, um, side of PyScript, uh, give an update of uh, what we're up to this week, uh, so folks can see what we're working on. Um, and then uh, agenda items. There are no agenda items, so this is going to be quite relatively short. Um, so uh, uh, what have I been working on or what am I working on? As you know, we're refactoring substantially the uh, test suite for Python in uh, PyScript. And that's mostly done. Uh, thank you very much to call out various people uh, to Andrea, because uh, he's Web Yoda. Um, and there were various things that the uh, tests we actually highlighted that were problems with PyScript, so he's gone and fixed them. Uh, and I also want to uh, highlight also um, Martin, uh, because um, it was good to talk through some of the timing issues that were relating to some of the uh, PyScript.web tests. Um, so uh, I'm uh, finished. Hello? Is it just me chopping? Sorry. Um, it's I chopping. Well, yeah. I think. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, Discord, Discord is having Discord another. Is choppy again. Oh, God. I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, it got. It, since we're recording my screen, it got all of that. <laughs> you might have all been. Okay. We will watch <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. You can watch it on, on iPlayer later on or something. I don't know. Right. Uh, uh, on replay. Um, so uh, that'll be finished soon, um, and then we can start to refactor the uh, the repo itself um, so that it's nice and neat. And then the thing that follows that for me is getting the new API um, figured out so that um, we've got the namespace, the PyScript namespace, all nice and fine and dandy now that we have a test suite that kind of exercises it in the right way as well, uh, more complete. So that's what I've been up to. Uh, Andrea. The floor is yours, matey. It says here, refactor the universe. Oh, sorry, Polly. Yeah. Well, it's sort of the uh, underlying universe in, yeah. uh, in our stack because it enables workers and MicroPython and interpreters. So both MicroPython and PyoDide. But recently, I had to work a lot and make a lot of changes to fix things, improve things. Um, it's... Inevitably, so the project inevitably ended up being strongly coupled with PyScript, what we need, what we do. And basically, the entire PolyScript repository is just, okay, there is an interpreter bootstrap, a lot of logic behind the scene. But at the end of the day, it's our custom PyScript definition that matters. And beside that, only the PyEditor. But neither PyScript or uh, MPyScript uh, nor the Pi editor requires everything else that is moving around PolyScript. So I've mentioned this previous time already, um, a few times. Now we had an issue with the config. The config was understood because PolyScript automatically would like to resolve the config. But uh, at the end of the day, in PyScript, the config is already solved in uh, in PyScript itself. So the logic to solve the config is there. So I have to pass and eventually resolve there. And when I've seen myself following the config and the config gets resolved twice because it's supposed to be um, agnostic and just, uh, it's, uh, it, does, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. And at the, at the same time, it's like, we we know the config story for PyScript. We know the um, all the fields that we have. We have documented all that. There are some discrepancy already because in, initially in, in PolyScript, I named fields differently, like interpreter or runtime or this kind of, and. Hello. Oh dear, folks. If you're watching on catch up, um, um, uh, okay, yeah. Andrea, Andrea, you you yeah, broke you. up then for the last ten seconds. Do you want to just repeat that again? Yeah, the project is 
uh, mature enough to make me think that that intermediate la layer that is is polyscript can just be readapted and re it shouldn't be a whole rewrite but it can be adjusted to uh, be part of PyScript also because at that point I don't need to change things in PyScript and then change in PolyScript yeah. and in PyScript and then test that everything is fine. So this is just overly convoluted for zero benefits. Yeah. So unless anyone is really against this or if from the community, whoever watched this later, if ever, um, if... Oh. <laughs> thank you, Discord. Um... <laughs> Keep using it, it will be awesome. Uh, I guess I chopped again. Yeah, you um, chopped again. Yeah. Don't worry. So, for the community, if you think Polyscript should stay there and you're using it, please tell us, let us know, because right now I think like PyScript is the main project using it and it's not bringing as many benefits as initially, as initially did. Yeah. So that's it. That's the end yeah, of yeah. my story. So just to... Uh, uh, to reframe that, just to make sure so that folks understand what's going on. So the way PyScript works is that it's kind of like many pieces of software. There are layers, and one of the fundamental layers is PolyScript, upon which we build PyScript. Now, um, there are aspects of PyScript that are in PolyScript and PolyScript that are in PyScript. And what Andrea is saying is that we should put PolyScript on a diet. So all it does is launch an interpreter. And then after that, uh, PyScript does all the other stuff related to config and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Um, and so we would love to know from the wider community, are you using PolyScript? Uh, and, um, you know, how are you using it? And uh, that sort of stuff. I know that um, certain people are interested in using PolyScript for R related things because r is one of the kind of alternative interpreters so it'd be interesting to get a heads up on that uh, from that person um, who i'll prod um when this call is over um and he can go and watch this uh but uh that's it really uh just for the people in the uh, that's it really folks um it, I'm guessing, you know, I'm a thumbs up on that because if we can make our processes simpler now that it's also a case of software matures and we realize that actually these decisions, we can change our minds. So when is the best time to refactor? Well, it's always 100 years ago or if not then <laughs> now. So uh, let's get that, bro that, that let's get that uh, stuff fixed and sorted out. Um, and that's it. So um, any more for any more? <laughs> It looks like this is going to be the shortest community technical call, uh, which is okay by me because I'm getting a cold. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, if that's <clears throat> any more comments or uh, anything to no. say, no, no. Just thank you. Just thank you to Andrea for spotting the changes in the. Oh. Oh this week so okay okay this is what i just saw martin thank you andrea very much for spotting the this week that was yeah. really good so could you repeat yeah. the middle of that sentence please no i'm <laughs> gonna leave it like that and you're basically you're gonna have to fill in the blank the the oh, by the way. The <laughs> list, uh, yeah yeah for uh, oh This is not working. No, nah, this isn't working. Discord is 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 having problems. I, think, I, I think suggest Discord we call it may, a day. <laughs> Discord may have like a maximum amount of group of like three or something that it can deal with. They're just like yeah. I think they 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 moved their UX team onto their scalability team. Is what they did. <laughs> oh man! At least it's not the kind of conduct team. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop the recording now